Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 2. Today we're going to be talking about the Episode 10 trailer, and basically what to expect in the near future on Superman Lois in regards to a couple characters showing up, and the future of our main characters. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Superman Lois is crazy right now. So, Superman was literally gone for like a month last episode. I apologize that I wasn't able to get a review out for that episode. I just simply couldn't make it happen in the time that I had. But anyway, back on to today's topic. So, in the next couple of episodes, we're going to be seeing what happened in Bizarro World. In the trailer for the next episode, which is not coming out next week, we got a three week break. This is episode 10, and so it's titled Bizarro's in a Bizarro World. And so that means obviously that our heroes, or specifically Superman, is in the Bizarro world. So he's Bizarro to them essentially. And he also has, you know, the threat of Ali, who is there as well, who got in last episode, along with Lieutenant General Mitch Anderson, who is already there. So the big question is, what have they done? At the end of this week's episode, we find out from the alternate Jonathan from Bizarro World, who has somehow been able to escape from Bizarro World and come to warn our characters on our main Earth Prime about what has happened and he says he was too late. So that means Clark has been over there for a month fighting them and trying to stop whatever is coming from happening and he obviously wasn't so successful and so I believe we're going to jump into this kind of flashback episode basically setting up Bizarro World and exactly what happened in the past to lead to what is happening in the present. And in the trailer and throughout the trailer, you get to see various different versions of our characters. So if you look specifically at the Kent family, you see that Bizarro's family, or so we can presume, is, is pretty different from our normal family. So if you look at the trailer, actually, they look pretty fancy and they look like they're very well off. Just look at Lois, it seems like she is living in luxury, this apartment or wherever she is looks great. And, you know, she looks very sleek and even the baby stroller she's got for presumably young Jonathan and Jordan is amazing. And just look at Clark in this instance where he's like in some sort of bar and he is talking to Tao Ro, who obviously in his world is his proper brother and like a friend and actually an ally. And remember there was mention of Tao Ro's wife being killed by someone in that other earth and so there is obviously that sort of connection that they're going to bring into the next couple of episodes that we are currently uncertain of. And because Superman is public in Bizarro World with his family, basically they are all exposed to all of the attention of being superheroes. You can see Jonathan, the guy that we saw at the end of this week's episode, is in sunglasses and he's wearing like this kind of cool kind of leather jacket kind of get up and he's got sunglasses, his hair is all sleek back, very different from our Jonathan. And so he looks very much so like he's really, really enjoying his time as a kind of celebrity and as a person with powers. And so this gets us into the two main questions I want to bring into this. So obviously we have Jonathan who has just crossed over and the two versions of Jonathan are both in this reality and they probably will meet. I wonder at one point is it possible that our Jonathan gets powers because of this other Jonathan if they merge at any point and so would that kind of counteract you know the Kryptonian side of his DNA that isn't working right now does the bizarro version of himself from whenever they split apart because that has been pretty evident so far that apparently they were once connected together but also a big question is surrounding Lana's character because if you see here Lana's character is in fact a waitress at this bar that Superman and Tao Ro are at in Bizarro Worlds because obviously this isn't our versions of our characters we're seeing a flashback here and we have seen this version of Lana before this is not the first time we've seen it so this version of Lana was last seen a couple of episodes ago when she came out of nowhere and fought Bizarro Superman and she was fully kitted up with the Tauro symbol and with superpowers in fact so we kind of called her Superwoman because in the comics Lana Lang does become Superwoman at one point but this version of the character is more so like the evil Earth 3 crime syndicate version of Superwoman than 
a necessarily good superwoman because it's pretty clear even from the trailer with her just being this bartender she looks at Tauro pretty menacingly and I think there is some sort of connection there and I wonder if our version of Lana is ever going to meet this alternate evil version of Lana who will end up getting superpowers. I presume she gets superpowers from whatever Bizarro Worlds version of XK is, maybe it's just normal kryptonite when it's brought over and that is obviously going to lead to some big consequences if she ever gets out of hand and comes to our world and if she's working for Ali because we can presume at this point maybe Ali's plans have been enacted and she is doing what she planned to do and maybe she is merged with her alternate self from Bizarro World and she's become this kind of godlike figure and so we're seeing these flashbacks as basically we get told about exactly what happened so we kind of figure out what is going on in the present and how maybe we can defeat these specific characters who are quite different from our versions of the characters that we know. Even in the trailer you get like a couple of limo shots where Superman is fully dressed up, he looks normal, his symbol is normal because he's in Bizarro World, he's in the normal version of his world. He only flips around when he goes to the other earth and that's when they flip. So. I presume our version of Superman is flipped in Bizarro World when he eventually is seen there by us as viewers. And so in this limo you see Lois, she's looking very very fancy, all dressed up and Superman obviously being Superman. And then the kids are really dressed up as well, all in kind of like leather like jackets, they got greased up hair. However Jordan in this version doesn't look like the kind of celebrity of the siblings because in our world, Jordan is the one with powers, he is more powerful than Jonathan, so we have a complete inverse which makes complete sense because this is the bizarro version of our world and he looks more like the episode 1 version of the character that we saw. He's in a full emo phase here, even though he is living this kind of luxurious life with his brother and with his parents and obviously I think Superman or Bizarro Superman likes the attention and the family does apart from Jordan and this is a life that they live for a while however things started to break down obviously with Ali and with whatever is going on over there from what actually happens that causes basically half of Bizarro's family to die and so there's this interesting shot of Lana in the trailer and she is all dressed up she's got kind of like black feathers all over her and it looks like she's getting married in fact and I don't know who she's getting married to but I presume maybe it's an alternate version of Kyle or it's someone else but it's just very mischievous and it looks like she's scheming because as we know we know this version of Lana is going to turn into this sort of super villain where she's going to be fighting Bizarro because as far as we've been led to believe and from this trailer we can see that their version of Superman is in fact the good guy and it seems Lana has something against them and she's probably going to be one of the superpower beings to team up with Ali in order to take down Bizarro and kill his family essentially and so one of the final shots of the trailer is very interesting. This seems like this is either our version of Superman who's all decrepit or it's Bizarro who eventually became more like the version of Bizarro we've seen in the last episodes. Then the final shot of the trailer is of Lois who still is looking like pretty elegant but she kind of looks a bit more gothic. Seems things have taken a turn for the worst. She's talking to her dad and also Jordan is there and it seems this is where we are heading towards with you know them eventually dying because that was teased a couple of episodes ago when we saw the Kent family farm actually in complete disarray and it seems like Bizarro is completely alone and so she says this could be the end of humanity as we know it and this is probably because they know exactly what's going on with Ali, what she's been scheming and then that leads on to where we're at and we will find Superman where we saw him at the end of last episode because it seemed like he was in some sort of battle on Bizarro World even though we're going to have to go through all of these flashbacks before we get to that point. But the big question I wanted to ask is do we think we're going to see more Superwoman, obviously evil Superwoman? I think that is definitely the case because we see a lot of Lana in this trailer and then in the case of Jonathan it's still a big question if the two versions of Jonathan are going to combine at one point in order to give our version of Jonathan powers. So what do you guys think about all of that? Let me know down in the comments below. 
If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any future videos. Also, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.